Could this be the end of HMRC as we know it? Is the HMRC about to go bust? Is it about to be closed down? Let's check out why am I even suggesting this? Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants. I'm a UK tax specialist as well as a US tax specialist. So the news I'm bringing to you has nothing to do with the UK whatsoever. However, I want to share with something with you that we follow the United States on many, many things. It's hard not to, right? They're such a big country, they have a big influence. They are deemed to be our uncle at the end of the day. So when we're looking at what's uh, that has happening in the US, we must think about could it influence the, the UK? And we're talking about the IRS. So let me just share something with you, which I think is really the, the storyline here. So House of GOP, keeps up attack on IRS with a bill to abolish the agency. The Internal Revenue Service is a tax system which is equivalent to our HMRC. Okay, so the CNN talks about the Republic controlled house has made the Internal Revenue Service a political target after Democrats bolstered the agency with new funding last year. So they were talking about the IRS talk about hiring in 87,000 new workers, whether that's part-time or full-time, who knows, but nevertheless. Um, and it said here that uh, the, instead of adding 80,000, it says 87,000 new workers to weaponize the IRS, the tax system in the United States, against small business owners and middle America, the bill will eliminate the need for a department entirely by simplifying the tax code with provisions that work for American people and encourage growth and innovation. That is a massive statement. And if this gets anywhere whereby they will add sales tax, so in the UK, that would be VAT. So VAT could go from 20% as an example to 30, 35%, where you pay the tax when you buy items instead of paying tax on your income. So what type of taxes could be affected in the United States? Well, payroll would go. Income tax would go, sales tax, capital gains tax, estate tax, inheritance tax, all gone. Now that could be good. That could be really exciting for you as a reviewer. But then are you willing to pay 30% VAT on your items when you purchase things? That would really make it um, cost ineffective in many ways if they did this, because now the price of goods in America would go up. Who would buy those things, especially from abroad? Probably not anyone. Um, so there is issues with that uh, concept, but I can understand how they're thinking about could this really happen. And by the way, I wanted to just share with you in terms of the history behind the IRS. So really, I'm looking at the, the blue writing, not the purple writing, but the, pur the blue writing talks about 16th Amendment. In 1913 is when the IRS really officially starts get, get going. So you're thinking about this and you think, actually, the history of this isn't that long. You know, it's not as though it's been there for centuries. It's actually been a lot less. So could they change this to get rid of the IRS and therefore move on from that? Time will tell.